and we'll just keep pumping for a bit more. Oh. Wow, did you see that? Good grief. That's about the highest it's ever gone. Wow. <laughs> so did you manage to get that then? Did you, did, you, did you see how high it went? It went very high. Do you want to try it again? Yeah. Go on then, right. Yeah, well, the symbol I want to talk about today is, uh, is the symbol ETA, which uh, is, one of the sim is a symbol we use for propulsion efficiency. This one here, now this is, this is the original uh, uh, jet engine, so it takes in uh, air, uh, compresses it up in a multi-stage compressor here to a high pressure, then you burn fuel in the air and it gets very hot, and when it gets hot it expands, so it's going a lot faster, and then it rushes out the back. Now, now this engine here is a, uh, is a modern uh, a modern turbofan engine, as we call it, and this is the most modern engine, the Trent 800, that uh, made by Rolls Royce. And the way this one works is, um, <coughs> air comes in uh, at the front here, and a small amount of air really goes through the compressor. It's compressed to high pressure. Then the fuel's burned here in this section. That's why it's all red. They've got the flames there. That makes the um, uh, the air then expands, goes faster, and it comes out of the back. And on the back of this engine. Instead of, uh, uh, instead of having a small turbine, we've got a very big turbine where we take most of the energy out of the air at this stage, so it doesn't come out very fast at the back, it comes out quite slowly. And instead it's turned this turbine, and this turbine's turning around, and there's a shaft that runs right through the middle of the engine, and that shaft turns this great big fan on the front of the engine. And this big fan pulls in a huge amount of, uh, a huge mass of air, but accelerates it to relatively low velocities, so for a, a high proportion efficiency, what you want is a lot of stuff going quite slowly. In the old sort of jet engine, we had a small amount of stuff, a small amount of air, going very fast. That gave us a, a similar thrust, but it wasn't very efficient because it takes a lot of energy to make air go fast. In a, a modern turbofan, what we have is uh, a lot more air going through, but it comes out slower, and that gives us greater proportion efficiency. Now we can, uh, I can demonstrate that with this water-powered uh, with this water-powered rocket. So we've got a foot pump, we've got a, a guidance system, and we've got some rocket fuel, which is just a, uh, which is just some water. So we'll just go outside onto the grass, and it's it not you don't need huge amounts of water. Most of it goes straight down, so it's not too bad. Now actually, the thing does go very high, does. and uh, well, the first thing we've got is uh, I need to put the. Uh, the, the launch site, we have the, uh, the guide rod, so I'm going to put the guide rod in the ground just here, and this makes sure that the rocket goes up at uh, relatively straight and doesn't fall over and come back and hit you in the face. So we've, and then we've got the, the rocket, it's just, a, it's just a Coke bottle. So the first one, in the first one, we're just going to, we're just going to, fill, it with, uh, we're just going to fill it with air. So here's the rocket, and uh, we're just going to blow it up with air, and we're not going to use any water. At 35 pounds per square inch, the, the nozzle uh, comes out, uh, the bung comes out, and the air, compressed air inside here, rushes out the bottom and pushes the rocket into the air. And because we've, uh, air is not very heavy, the air comes out, the pressure in here makes the air come out very fast, there's not very much air inside there, comes out very fast and makes the rocket go, uh, go up. But because we've got a small amount of air going very fast, the propulsion efficiency isn't very good and it doesn't go very high. Right, so we keep pumping, and it's going to go any time now. Oh, -ho. there we go. Now that wasn't really very high. Now, when we go, now what we're going to do is we're going to put, um, make it about a third full of water. And when we're standing the rocket up, there'll be water in the bottom, and we'll pump it up with air, and the, you'll see the air bubbles coming up, and it's got compressed air on the top. And when the rocket goes off this time, it's pushing the water out. Now water is much heavier than air, so the, the air pressure can't make the air go, water go so fast. So we've got um, water coming out more slowly, but water is much heavier than air. So effectively what we've got this time is we've got <coughs> a large amount of stuff coming out more slowly. And this gives us greater proportion efficiency. So what happens now is for the same amount of energy we put in to compress the air in the top, we actually get greater proportion efficiency so we can actually go further with this rocket. So this rocket will go very much further. Wow! Incredible! 
Well, we put water in, and that's a bit counterintuitive, really, because people think, oh, it's got water in, it must be heavier, so it won't go as far. But actually, it goes much further when we've got water in because the propulsion system is more efficient. Oh, and this time, what we've done is we've strapped the we strapped this camera on the side, so we're going to hopefully be, have a NASA eye view, astronauts' eye view of the takeoff. What do you think is going to happen? I think it probably won't lift off the ground at all because this camera weighs more than uh, weighs more than the bottle. Yes, right. Okay, let's try this one. Right, let's give it a go and see what happens then. What? Oh, God! <laughs> It spray went off in that direction and sprayed me with water. It actually, it went further than I thought it was going to go. I don't know if the camera survived, though. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> that's, uh, that's OK. I'd like to see what happens with that one, then. <laughs>